one I'm kind of excited about. It's a Wemos D1 R2, and it uses the ESP8266 EX microcontroller. Runs on 3.3 volts, and it is Arduino compatible, but with a clock speed of either uh, 80 megahertz or 160 megahertz. It's got four megabytes of flash memory. Oh yeah, and it also has built-in Wi-Fi, which is great. So I've just put the standard Blink sketch on there, and that does compile and it does run. Didn't take very long to set it up. I just have to download a package to install on the Arduino and it works fine. Along with the package, you also get a whole whack of example code. For Ethernet, and all sorts of great things there. I tried a few of my Arduino projects on there, and some of them compiled, some of them didn't. Anything that relies on like uh, servo libraries or anything like that didn't compile, but uh, that's not really a problem. I can just modify the code to make it work. Look at that, in an alternate servo library. There's a couple of things I'm the most excited about with this guy, and they relate to the speed. First of all, these guys, little Nokia thing, they got a bunch of these. Uh, if I'm using them on a regular Arduino, pretty much they use up most of the bandwidth and can't do anything really complicated because it's too busy just running this thing. And the other thing is, I should be able to get uh, free RTOS on here. Um, obviously not with Arduino, but that's kind of exciting as well. And it should have the horsepower to run it. So I thought I'd run some test code for the little Nokia LCD, but as you can see, it is not working. It took me a while to get it compiled. There's a bunch of uh, things I had to change and some incompatibilities, but uh, uh, I'm getting nothing so far. I'm not sure why exactly, although I am noticing that I'm also getting junk on the serial monitor. And the baud rate's right, so there's definitely some timing issues I need to get worked out with this thing. To see what the problem was, I just modified the Blink library to print out hello. So the problem is not the serial, the problem is something to do with the library for this guy. Well, I guess I will have to do some more investigating. I'm still pretty optimistic about the Wemos D1. But at the moment, I wouldn't say it's a drop-in replacement for an Arduino. Um, that's not the only reason I got it. So I'm not particularly disappointed. But if you are expecting an Arduino, you probably will be. But on the other hand, Wi-Fi and much faster processor. And also, most of the basic pinout functions should work just fine. I think it's just when you run across specific libraries and timing issues uh, that, that require specific timing um, that have not been specifically modified for this board, that's probably where you're going to run into problems.